The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your greatest will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel, the Good News of the Lord. Blesses all the eyes that see what you see and ears that you hear. I was struck when Joe read that first reading and then Candy, instead of say, he said the word of the Lord and he didn't say thanks be to God just say amen I don't know you notice that because the first reading today give us the whole new imagination the kingdom of God the reality of God God comes not to destroy us not to make us suffer, but God comes to enlighten us. It's like a, the Alleluia right here, to enlighten our eyes, to broaden our horizon. The beauty of God's kingdom is you keep going and going. All the impossibilities that we could come up with, it becomes possibilities. Can you imagine that the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb? Can you imagine that the leopard shall lie down with the kid? The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them? This is the impossibility that we never put together. But today, my brothers and sisters, I already invited you to dream. Now, we never dream that. And in fact, some of us maybe stopped dreaming for a long time because we didn't think anything changed. In my redemptive uh, con- uh, province, the one brother, Brother Henry, he said, a lot of changes but no improvements. And so we stopped changing. One lady in Chicago that I worked with, a black lady, about 60 some years old. She said, Father Ted, I stopped dreaming for the last 40 years. Today, I know that we live in a pandemic, not just the coronavirus pandemic. We have a lot of pandemics the pandemic of faith. If you talk to 100 parents today, they complain about their children and grandchildren stop going to church. Now, maybe they have a good reason not going to church besides the pandemic. Even before the pandemic, they already stopped going to church. It's not just that, but they stop believing and searching for God. And that is the pandemic. And then we see this news, talk bad about the other news, this party, go against with the other party, and then we just divide among ourselves, and we don't know who and where to turn. 
That is a pandemic. And now today, what type of God that we believe in? If we think this is the end of the world, then our faith, I'm afraid, is smaller than the master seed. Then we think that our God is powerless. Then our God is sitting there do nothing. And everything happening is in vain. But I believe that as we enter into the Advent season, we ready for the King coming of the Lord. We ready for the beautiful kingdom of God is coming. But we have to believe in it. We have to work together somehow. This morning I read a book and I was so connected and convinced that I have to call bad English. I have to call somebody to say, hey, we are so blessed. It's time to return to our root, return home. Do something, not for the sake of doing, but for the sake of purpose, for the sake of faith and hope and charity. My brothers and sisters, we can do it. We are the one who are so blessed that we could see something, we could hear something. And today, we could believe in that God, the God of hope, the God of giving us much more than just what we see today. And so, let us dream and dream very big.